For just $28.99 as shown on Amazon, these resistance band handles are pretty cool and work with many of the exercises I do in my home workouts. A big reason I don't like the loop resistance bands when you're not using something like a bar or these handles is that if you have the band going over the palm of your hand, it is extremely uncomfortable, at least for me, when doing many exercises such as the biceps curl. Before buying these handles, I was using the undersun gloves to help protect my palms as they have padding on the outer and inner portion of your palms. However, it still isn't that comfortable, especially when you get to those bigger resistance bands. So these have been great in my first initial tests to remove that uncomfortability by just holding a simple handle to do my exercises. Now, right after taking it out of the box, I decided to test them by just doing some initial bicep curls and they work great so far. They seem to be very well built. The only thing I don't really like about them is that out of the box, they are very tough on your hands just they have a lot of that rubbery grip kind of making a lot of friction on your hands but hopefully that subsides over time in my testing. Also, these really do not work well unless you actually loop the band over the handle itself. So if you have something where you have it at like a 90 degree, maybe you're doing like an overhead press the same way you would do it with my bar, it really doesn't work well that way. It's really awkward to hold the handles in that position, unlike when you're using a bar. So this one again is really only good if you're gonna loop the band around the actual uh, loop section of the handles themselves. Now in my past exercises, I do use a standing platform for many of the exercises in my workout program. However, I had to remove that platform because most of the exercises done with this would snap otherwise, especially when you're looping the band through the handle. So again, I am removing that instead of just standing on the bands. So if you're gonna do this, I recommend shoes or make sure that you're properly securing the bands under your feet when using it. Socks may not be the best idea. Another thing you might wanna watch out for is that there can be a lot of force pushing in on your ankles when you're standing on the bands. So this is where shoes might be a bit more helpful instead of just having bare feet. But again, it probably won't matter too much, but it is something you want to be aware of, especially as you get into the heavier bands. And my last point, and it's a big con here, is that I think the loops are just a little too big. So the actual like size of the loop is too big. So many of the exercises, you lose a lot of the tension way too early. So I think all the exercises I have come up, you can do. However, again, with some of them, like the bent over row, you just lose so much tension so quickly as you get lower to the ground. Same with the chest press, but I'll get to that in a minute. Now I've compiled 10 separate exercises that hit the entire body, one for each body part. And I'm gonna go through them here and say whether or not I think the handles work well or don't for those specific exercises. No, I am five feet, 11 inches tall. And my doorway where I have a door stopper in it in some of these exercises is six feet, eight inches off the ground. So those are my settings before I jump into these exercises, just so you know where I'm at when saying if it works or not for me. First up, we have the squat. And yes, you can do this with them very well. However, instead of doing front squats, which are very awkward to hold those handles up in front of you, I recommend separating your feet and holding them down by your side. Kind of like you're doing a dumbbell squat with the dumbbells down by your side. Just do that. Instead, you may need to separate your feet a little bit more to do this, but I found this works very well. Next is the Romanian deadlift, and this does work very well with these handles. Of course, you can't go too low or you lose all that tension. And again, make sure that you keep your feet the same distance each time you do this exercise. So next up, we have the overhead press targeting these shoulders. And for this one, we can't really separate it with our feet because if we're looping the bands through the handles and separating it and then pushing up overhead, the bands are going to snap. They cannot be pushed that far without snapping. So in this one, I just put it under one of my feet and then stagger them in order to do the overhead press. So you may have to do this this way. So you just have a single anchor point under one foot in order to do this exercise properly. Next up, we have the bent over rows targeting the back. Now you can do this exercise with the handles. However, because of the length of the loop, I do lose tension pretty quickly in this. So I'm actually going to probably pick a heavier band to work with and really make sure I squeeze throughout this entire exercise to feel it in my back muscles. So that is one thing you have to watch out for and make sure you don't lose all the tension when lowering your hands towards the ground. Next up, we're going for our chest with the good old chest press. And this one still has the same problem that the bent over row does in that when you come back towards your chest with your hands, you lose the tension very quickly because of the size of the loop. So make sure you're keeping tension throughout the band is probably gonna limit your range of motion quite a bit, especially on this one, even I'd say more than all the other exercises. So it is something you will have to watch out for. 
Now onto our lats, we're going to go with a pull down and you will need a door anchor in order to do this. So I put it at the top of my door, loop the band through and then put the handles looped through on each side. And I actually sit on my knees on the ground in order to make sure I get enough tension when doing the pull down exercise. If you do have a shorter door, this might be a little tough for you uh, because of the size of those loops again. So this one is going to depend at the height of your door and to where you can anchor it to. Maybe you're outside using a tree or something, the height will matter when doing this in order to get a good activation with the pull down exercise. All right, now our first isolation exercise is the overhead triceps extension. And this one works great, but it has the same problem the overhead press does and that we can't separate our feet in order to do it. So we're gonna anchor it under just one foot and then do the overhead tricep extensions using the handles just fine. So this one again, is a good exercise with these handles. So now the exercise I tested first with the handles and that is the good old biceps curl. So this one I think is the best exercise out of the 10 to use with the handles overall as you can loop them through and stand on the bands with both feet. So again, my favorite out of the entire bunch. Our ninth exercise is focusing on the calves. So we're gonna do standing calf raises. For this one, you can put it under both feet. Just make sure that when you do this, it's the band is under the front part of your foot and that you're not probably wearing socks because you do not want that thing coming and slipping out under your feet and whipping you across the backside. So make sure that you are properly standing firmly on the band the entire time for this. Otherwise, you might wanna just do a normal body weight so that you don't hurt yourself. And the last exercise is back to our door. So we're gonna be doing some cable crunches in order to target the abs. And this one is works perfectly for it. You can also get down to a lower position. You probably don't even need to be that high off the ground and you can get a good resistance to contract your abs and get them to be bigger and stronger. So when do I think the handles will work best in my home workout programming? First off is definitely when I go traveling. I tend to not want to take a giant step platform in my luggage or even take the bar itself. Yes, I have a detachable bar, but I think these handles being much smaller, I can just throw in a quick bag, like a quick drawstring bag with my bands, and then I can just take it anywhere I wanna go. Yes, I do lose standardization and stuff like that, but it allows me to work out even when I go traveling. Next, if you're looking to work each arm individually, so maybe you don't wanna have the bar where it's loaded and both hands have to kind of work simultaneously to move the bar, maybe you wanna work them on their own, this would be a great alternative to you. So if that's someone like you, or maybe you wanna do even unilateral training in your home workouts, this would be a better option than of course using the bar. And for my last point here, I use the undersun gloves, which are pretty expensive. So these little handles are actually cheaper than the gloves themselves. So if you need a cheaper alternative to again, not using gloves and something I think works even better, I would go with these loop handles. And also if I do like these handles, I'll probably get rid of the undersun gloves, which I have marked on my channel right now. So we'll see, and I hope they do because they are a bit cheaper for you guys to go ahead and get and are I think easier and better on your hands overall. And with that, if you'd like to see a full resistance bands workout that I put together that you could use these handles for or my resistance bands bar, feel free to head over to the video on screen or gamerbody.com in order to get a free workout with the resistance bands. But remember with that to be fit and game on.